Hey YouTubers, uh, welcome back to Fish Mall Soup. I'm um, bringing you a special project that I've been trying to do since a couple years back. And as you can see, this is one of my parts. This is a 133 inch projector screen by Elite Screen Zinc. It's an older model, but I, got, I was able to get it on sale. But this thing is huge. Check out the box. Bam. Check out the box. It's insanely huge. All the way down there. Hopefully I can put it under this empty wall. It says it comes with some brackets, but we're going to go ahead and check it out. But uh, again, this is the 133 inch. Extra 24 inch drop, but this is adjustable. I'll show you the specs. There's the specs, 133 inch. Nominal diagonal. Let's go ahead and see. What does it say? This is a 91 by 120. The viewing size is 65 by 116. And let's see if we can get through this. Overall size, let's see, 98 by 127 by 55.5. It's important to buy when you're buying one of these, these um, screens. Make sure you look at the case length. So in this case, this is 127 inch, 127 inch, because some walls are certain size. And yes, you have the 133 diagonal, but you have to measure the case because that's what you're gonna be installing it on the wall. So that's just a a, a few pointers. I'm purchasing one of these. So I'm going to be unboxing this today and um, we'll take a look at what's inside. Hopefully everything's intact. This is an electric powered one, powered by a remote. And uh, this thing is like 75 pounds, so ho hopefully the box is, is, is not added to weight. I mean, I mean, if I take out the box, hopefully it's lighter, but um, we'll see. And hopefully it comes with some heavy duty uh, brackets and uh, hopefully my wood at home is strong enough to hold this thing. So there you have it. Elite screens, 133 inch diagonal. Peace out YouTube. Hey YouTubers, uh, we went ahead and unboxed the, the um, projector screen and Elite, the home series, um, the first edition. And uh, I'm gonna go stroll right by it so you can see the uh, made. It's still in plastic, so I'll show it later when it's out of plastic and ready to install. There you go, guys. It's pretty thick. Oh, fine. Yes, it's pretty thick. I'm here too. This is the original in 93 holding down the wood. So um, I'll Have go ahead box. and uh, later on I'll open it and uh, you guys can see what's inside. It made pretty good finished and it's um it's pretty good and it's, it's the size wise it looks very heavy duty and um we'll go ahead and um install it up let you guys test it out and uh this 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 hope it works All right peace out youtube hey youtuber welcome back uh here's the uh install it's completed we got the two uh, the two brackets that are hooked up to the wall and uh, they are uh, very strong we use actually we didn't use the one that is stock that came with it's sort of like weak so we went ahead and uh, uh, got some uh, those those hex one they're pretty big and it went straight through the wall into the wood and then we went, we did as a precaution we had one that goes up to the ceiling as well that that we hit some type of wood but it was soft but it was otherwise really tight uh, the wiring is 
we just temporarily, this is a temporary wiring, and it goes all the way to the left, and then to a surge protector and into the wall outlet. And now I'm going to show you how it's going to be, look like when it goes down. But this is basically 127 from end to end. Any bigger, as you can see, my wall will not take it. So um, props to Elite Screens for um, getting me the case size. And again, this was the last one. This is the first edition home series. Everything works well. The electric, everything. I came with the control box. And the control box, simple, up, stop, down. And uh, it has an infrared in there, so you can you also use the remote control. So we're going to go ahead and uh, push the button. I'll do it manually this time, and then we'll do it through the remote control. So Hello. we're going to... This is Red Bull 93. I have the controller. So I'm going to do it manually, so hopefully I can catch everything. So it's going to go down. Dash, not dash Motion detected front camera detected motion of 12 hours. And, and 55 seconds PM. There you go. I stopped it. And uh, this is how it looked like. All the way to the top, down. It does have a 24 inch drop. Um, I did not set the, the configuration. I just left everything as stock. Didn't want to ruin anything. But again, I control the drop. I could drop as low as I want or as high as I want. So again, this is everything defaulted. And we're going to take it back up. You can, there's a, of course you can stop it anytime. There's a, the middle button, it says stop. So right now the rollers are going up. And I'll demonstrate the remote control in a while. So you don't have, and just let it go all the way up. You don't have to do anything. And then it goes. Okay, now I'm gonna set it with the remote control. Hold on, okay. YouTubers. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stand far away so you can see the whole picture. Let me get you set up to the whole wall first of all. That's the whole wall. There's my setup center and side. The center is the JBL, and the side is the Bose. And uh, I got it a while back, long time. And uh, the bed is just my dogs. So don't worry about it. The manual, and there you go. Oh, I think somebody started the screen. Not me. Or PS3, whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and push the screen down. There you go, guys. I'm, I'm using the controller, by the way. I'm standing on the corner. And I'm gonna stop it. Go ahead and stop. And there you go. Perfect drop. And uh, all the remote, don't worry about the wires. In the dark, you can't even see anything. And uh, I will show you guys a clip in the dark and uh, with the the quality. Again, I'm using an Epson 8350 on this Elite Screen Home Series 1. As for the remote control, you guys need to point it directly at the receiver, otherwise it won't work. Much like an IR. Okay, now let's bring it back up and we're done. Okay, YouTuber, this is what my project is completed and we're done. So, peace out, YouTube. All the items, his buttons deleted, be deleted. <coughs> スキル this is turning to be like Zelda. Huh. <laughs> 
実はここにアスタはママがいるらしいんだえママがどういうことですかアスタは SAO をクリアした後も現実に復帰していないんだ俺はアルブフェイムでアスタにいた人を見たという情報をもらってなそんなことが大体の居場所は見当がついてるんだ世界中とか言ってな多分あれだろうママがあそこにあそういえば俺はなんでこんな何もない森にログインしたんだホームタウンに転送されるはずだったんだ握るような形を作ってみてくださいえっと手前に引くと上昇押し倒すと加工左右で旋回しますうんうんおボタンを押し込みで加速離すと減速になっていますねあっあっ羽が光っているうちは飛ぶことが可能です<笑>一定時間を経過すると羽を休ませないといけません<笑>なるほど大体分かったとりあえず一番近くの町ってどこかな西の方にシルフランのスイルベンという町がありますねそこが一番どうしたのプレイヤーが近くにいますピッチャーはライダーなリーバちゃん待って頑張れレコンこのままシルフルを逃げ切ればはい、YouTubers、ウォーカムバックトゥフィッシュモールスープ、ウォーカムバックトゥフィッシュモールスープ、ウォーカムバックトゥフィッシュモールスープ、ウォーカムバックトゥフィッシュモールスープ、ウォーカムバックトゥフィッシュモールスープ、ウォーカムバックトゥフィッシュモールスープ、But I, got, I was able to get it on sale. But this thing is huge. Check out the box. Damn. Check out the box. It's insanely huge. All the way down there. And hopefully, I can put it under this empty wall. It says it comes with some brackets, but we're gonna go ahead and check it out. But、uh, again, this is the 133 inch. Extra 24 inch drop, but this is adjustable. I'll show you the specs. 
there's the specs 133 inch nominal diagonal 